Today what we're going over are types of switches and what's happening at the contact portion of this sequencer or this general purpose relay. And we're going through each of these sets up close as examples. So we're going from single pull, single throw all the way through to triple pull, triple throw. So first up is a single pole, single throw switch. So remember, even though this is a mechanical switch and this is a electrical relay switch, and this is a pressure switch, that part doesn't matter as much as just the contacts. So even though this is in the open position now, and when you push the button in, it's closed, anytime you have two contacts, that's going to be a single pole, single throw, because there's only one action that happens. So same thing with this right here. This is a fixed blade that doesn't count. This is called a single pull, single throw contactor. Same thing with this, this is a pressure switch and there's only two tabs at the top. And when you reduce the pressure on the top, these two contacts close. So it doesn't matter whether they're normally open or normally closed, there's only one action that occurs, single pull, single throw switch. Next up, you have a single pull, double throw switch. So in this case, we have an eight amp fan relay and you'd power the coil between one and three in order to activate the switch right here. And so the switch would be between four, five, and two. And so you have this blade that comes down and switches between these two. So it's only a single pull in, so this is your common connection point, and it would throw back and forth between these two contacts down here. So you'd have one set of normally closed contacts and one set of normally open contacts. When you power the coil, the Normally open contacts are gonna close and the normally closed contacts are gonna open. So that's how this works. Then you have a pressure switch right here. And since this has three tabs, you can see you have a common connection point. And so you have a set of normally open contacts and a set of normally closed contacts. When you activate the switch by lowering the pressure, you're going to open up the normally closed contacts and close the normally open contacts. So this is a SPDT, single pole double throw switch. Next up you have a double pole single throw switch. So this is a double pole contactor or two pole contactor. You know there's two poles in and you know that it's a single throw because there's only two terminals per switch. And so when you power this coil down here, there's only one action and the normally open contacts will close. And so they happen to close at the same time on a contactor, but that differs from a sequencer because when you power the pan heater down here, even though there's two poles, there's only still two terminals per switch. And so up here, these will close first, and then after, these will close. And so when you take power off the pan heater, these are going to open up first, and then these are gonna open up second. And so this is a timing switch, but it's still considered a double pole, single throw sequencer. Next up, you have a general purpose relay that's a DPDT. So that's a double pole and double throw. So this is a switch or a pole, and this is a switch or a pole. And so here is your common connection point for the one, and here's your common connection point for the other. And then it just kind of goes back and forth between these two tabs. And then for number one, it goes back and forth between these two tabs. The wiring diagram on the top of the general purpose relay is in the non-powered state. So anytime you see a wiring diagram, it is when the switch is not activated. And so you'd activate the switch by powering the coil on these tabs here, between here and here. And so there's your coil down there. So the normally open contacts between one and three would close and the normally closed contacts between one and two would open. Same thing down here, the normally open contacts between four and six would close and the normally closed contacts between four and five would open up. So we would refer to this as a DPDT general purpose relay. Next up you have a triple pole single throw switch. So there's three poles and there's two tabs per pole. So this is actually a three pole contactor with normally open contacts and they close anytime that you power this coil down here. They just suck right down. So you can refer to this as a TPST, triple pole single throw switch. Next up you have a triple pole double throw switch. So this is an ice cube relay and you can see the three poles or the three switches. And so it's gonna have three tabs, your common connection point here, and then your other two are gonna be your two throws. And so what's gonna happen is you would power your coil down here in order to get your switch to activate. And so that's a TPDT. 
If you want to learn about troubleshooting any of these switching devices, make sure you check out some of the other videos down in the description section below, and make sure you check out some of the free resources we have over at our website at ecservicetech.com, such as the, the calculators, the quick tips, the articles, the quizzes, and we also have our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book there as well. So make sure you check out the full outline. We also have our book available over on Amazon as well as our thousand question workbook and quick reference cards that we use in the field. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.